what do you think specifically uh, could be put in place to uh, follow through on, on, on that follow-up that you believe needs to be done? Well, I think first of all we need to be clear about the analysis. Uh, I'm against austerity. That's the, the message come from other parts of the world, most particularly from President Obama. You cannot cut your way out of a recession. You have to grow jobs. So the big key here is to get jobs. Secondly, on an island this size, it doesn't make sense to have two competing economies. So let's market Ireland as a single island. The unionists won't object to that, you know, whether it's in terms of broad tourism or trying to encourage uh, investors to uh, come here. So market the entire island as a, as a single economic unit. And at the end of all of this process, the results have to be measured and how many jobs come into the island. Now that's already been done I guess when it comes to tourism and there's been a lot of um, discussion about the corporation tax rate uh, in the north. Do you think that should change? Should it come down to match our 12.5%? Yes, well we, we have been arguing very strongly with the British uh, that they need to bring fiscal powers from London to Belfast and then given those fiscal powers it's up to both governments, the executive and the government here, to harmonise tax and other uh, tax raising measures if, they're, if it's possible to and, do that. And that's the flip side, isn't it? Because the other side of that bargain is potentially that uh, the North would get less monies from the uh, British Exchequer. Well, potentially that may be the case, but in the longer term, that means that we have more and more control. Ironically enough, as, as we are arguing to get fiscal powers from London to Belfast, the government here in Dublin have given fiscal powers away to the EU and the IMF, so that's another part of the equation that needs to be squared. Uh, in terms of uh, creating jobs, uh, an awful lot of what will happen here will be, uh, if you like, the marketing of Ireland. But in terms of actually delivering jobs, what kind of concrete measures would you like to see coming out of this summit? Well, one of the good bits of the propositions that have been put here is about our culture. Which is a you know not only is a part of what we are, but it's also uh, potentially uh, an engine to regenerate the economy. What's the most? Uh, what's the best part of our econ economy at the moment? Agriculture. There's a world food shortage. We should be seeking to help other people by growing our agriculture and marketing it. And there's also a niche market for green food. And it's one of the things within the agri-food sector that we're very, very famous for, all of those wonderful cheeses and other artisan uh, products. So there's, there's two elements. The biggest uh, employer in the state is, is middle and uh, small businesses, indigenous uh, people who have vested interest in the economy. And I, 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 I think a, a notion of just getting partnerships going of whatever the small business may be, and then tapping into the wider Irish family across the globe. Finally, Gerry Adams, we're in the middle of a presidential campaign uh, where Sinn Féin is running it, uh, Martin McGuinness. How would Sinn Féin's view of uh, uh, the presidency play into the ideas here about promoting Ireland abroad? Well, uh, against the background of a recession, Martin McGuinness and Peter Robinson have been singularly successful in bringing 13,000 jobs in the last four years into the north. Uh, the day that we announced that Martin would be going forward, he was actually in Wall Street in New York, uh, having done a, a three-city trip from Los Angeles, Chicago, and into New York. So we would see the, the presidency uh, being a, a catalyst for that, that Martin, it, it, he's, he's known internationally, so there's no, there's no need to introduce him. But secondly, the notion put forward, your country, your call, by President McAleese, I think could be built upon. And that's again as part of this notion of tapping into the diaspora, into the Irish family, into that 60 uh, million or so people who have roots in this island. And I think the President can be a leader of that. Jerry Adams, thanks very much. Okay, Carl. Thanks Word a lot. Out.